the main thing that tends to cause disputes is not whether or not spouse maintenance should be paid. It's how much it should be and for how long. What happens sometimes is you will get one party setting out a wish list of things that they say that they need when actually they don't need them at all. And it can be issues like that that make the issue of spousal maintenance thorny and a bit difficult to actually work out. Because whilst we might agree what the principles should be, a lot of the time we don't agree about some of the things that somebody says they need. So we end up having we end up having discussions, shall we say, about that particular <laughs> point. <laughs>